Hey everyone, it's Monica with Kids Lids for Fresh Off the Hook Monday, June 20th. I've missed you guys! Wow, it feels so weird only recording once a week now back to Mondays only. But it lets me bring you a lot more stuff. So, I have had a fun week. Um, we've been really busy, of course. Yesterday was Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to everybody out there, including my dad. Yay! We love you, Dada. Papa. Call him Papa. We love calling him Papa. So, um, I've had a lot of um, things going on this week. So, um, for those of you following my weight loss journal, or if you're not, please do it. It's so fun, and you can join with me and and get healthy. So, um, I want to show everybody my crochet. So, look at that. I decorated my flip flops. So, I'll Mikey do this one. So I thought, why not? And isn't that a cute, variegated yarn? You've seen the hats with it. So how adorable would it be to have a hat and shoes that match? I think it's cute. I don't know if we should do this little nubbly part, you know, the, the thong, I guess, that goes in between your toes. But I think that would be really cool to just even wrap it with yarn and then maybe tie it up here somehow in a bow. And then that way it won't rub in between your toes. I think that's a good idea. So I'm going to have to try that. So I've been doing my baby hats. This one's not even tucked in yet, uh, whatever you call it, sewed in. So, just some plain baby hats to bring to the hospital. This one I did a little bit different, and I did the, um, I think they're called clusters, right? So, just normal at the top, and then around the middle I did the little clusters. And then this one's not tucked in yet either, so this is just a simple headband. Oh my gosh, look, there's me here! So I'll show you, and it's made with cotton, so, and there you go, you can just put that on, isn't that cute? And I mean, you know, if you want to decorate with a flower on the side, you can usually put one of my flowers and it can match your outfit that you're wearing for the day. So, alrighty, we have some, I am having a giveaway because my Facebook page is over 500 likes. Is that like 542 or something like that? Isn't that awesome? So, Beth was showing hers, which I thought was really funny because I made one too, like a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm not going to use it. But obviously, it's a great idea. It's made out of cotton, so when you put it down, oh, sorry. <laughs> when you put it down, your bottle, if it sweats, it'll just go into the cotton and it won't wreck your table. Isn't that cute? And I put some elastic in it, so hopefully it'll fit different sizes of bottles. So I'm going to do, this is the giveaway for my 500 like fans. Yeah! So if you haven't joined my Facebook page, please do, and I'll do a giveaway for that. Um, oh yes, I want to show you this. Isn't that cute? So I have this kind of like moldable brim. And, sorry, and... This is the flower from TJW1963's tutorial. I love Teresa, as you guys know, who are into the crocheting. She is awesome. She's got like a million videos out there. She's so cool. And she does left-handed crochet. So she has been one of the people who I've watched because I'm left-handed. Which is why I had such a hard time joining my blanket together. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you the number of times that I tried to do the flat braid join by Beth in Texas. It was a nightmare, honestly. I was almost in tears because I'm like, I did all this work on the granny squares and I'm not gonna be able to join it together. I was about to sew it together just with a needle and thread or like, you know, needle and yarn, a darning needle. And then I thought, no, I'm gonna keep trying. So I tried for days and days and days. So <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited. I finished it yesterday and I joined it with just the single crochet because I gave up on the flat braid joining, so it's just single crochet join, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So this is for Kimmy, who is, I think her due date was yesterday. So it's just pink, and um, like a light green, and then a baby blue, and then the joining color is like a peach. So, oh yeah, and then the white, obviously. So she's having a girl, which is why um, I don't mind having the pink in it, obviously. So. If it was for a boy, I just would do um, maybe blue and green and um, white, not have the, the peach and the um, pink, sorry. All right, and what else do I have to tell you? Um, 
things are going great. Um, oh yeah, there's another one in the background there, the um, rainbow one. And here's one for a little girl. I love this. It's kind of like cowboy hat-ish um, brim because it will actually stay up. So that was the first time that I did three rows of, of um, the brim outline. See? Look. And when I put the um, wire in it, it went like, like, like that by itself. So I thought that was kind of cute. And then I did a big um, flower again from Teresa. This time I just did the one color. So the other one I put the two colors in it. And what I did was just do the regular flower and then went all around the outside um, with a different color. And I added that color into that row. Alright. Um, oh, she fell. <laughs> anyway, okay. So things are going so great and as you guys know I love you so much and I'm having so much fun creating. My show is coming up. It's July the 1st. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? Um, it's at Stan Waddle Park like I said for Canada Day. So unfortunately I don't have any red cotton and I'm thinking I better get on that. This is the last week for me to do some like red, white, and red, white, red, white, red. Actually red, white, and red I was going to say but it didn't make sense. Anyway, some red and white things for Canada Day which I think would be really cool. So maybe I'll head up there tomorrow and um, get some yarn. So I think that's it. And um, I want to say thank you to all for watching and commenting on my videos. Please subscribe right there. Comment down below. And if you can, you know what? Ask me some questions. I'll do a QA and a if I get enough questions. Just like, it's so much fun. If there's anything that you want to know about crocheting, I'm a left-handed crocheter, so I am going to be doing more tutorials because as I said, it was impossible for me to join the crochet squares. I was like, the granny squares. So I was like, what am I doing? It was really confusing, I must say. Anyway, it's done and I love it. So, um, what else? I'm just so excited about everything. I'm trying to join the YouTube partnership thing, which would be great. So if you guys can like my videos, um, that would be wonderful. And for some reason it's not working. It keeps telling me to, um, join the Google AdSense thing and then that was telling me it was false or something. I don't get it. So anyway, I may have to contact YouTube myself and see what's going on. So happy crocheting. I love you. Have a wonderful week. And I want to thank Beth in Texas for saying my little share your smile all the time and doing the little heart. It's awesome. I love you guys. Um, and uh, what else? I think that's it. So I love you guys. As I've said, I can't say it enough because I just love you. So, um, yeah, leave me any questions that you want and I'll get back to you on them. That's it. Have a wonderful week. And again, I love you. Share your smile. Happy crocheting. Bye, everyone.